And welcome everybody to RLIS week three. We have for you a great matchup today. Oh wow, I can hear myself. That's not good. <laughs> How are you anyway, Gav? Well, we have Gav the Ninja doing doing his uh, doing his first ever cast with us. How are you doing today, Gav? Uh, thanks, Morky, for the introduction. I'm doing well today. Thank you very much. How about yourself? I'm doing great, apart from the fact I could hear myself there. That, that, was, that was very concerning. And <laughs> you just hear a door slam in the background as well, which is great to hear. Uh, so, yeah, this is pretty good. Pretty good day so far. But uh, we're going to ha have a great match. We've got Wolfhounds versus High Kings. Of course, the Wolfhounds are missing two of their players, unfortunately, today. Evoke uh, out with a bit of a, an illness. So, he's going to be playing today, unfortunately. So, we've got Krolik stepping in. And Gilzo as well, who's, who's going to be called Obi Wan Leg Kenobi for the series. So, uh, <laughs> you know, you have, have to love it. Have to love it, uh, honestly. But uh, how are you feeling with this? Who do you think is going to win it? Who do you think who, who, who got winning this 3v3? Of course, we're not doing 2v2. It's two subs that are playing, so we can't do 2v2 today. So it's going to be an FF or it's going to be rescheduled for a later date. But we're going to be doing the threes and the ones. Who do you see taking the threes down, though? Because that's what we're going to do first. Well, seeing that uh, Wolfhounds has two subs in, I see Hikins with a high chance of winning this. No pun intended there. But yeah, Hikins is going to take this one. Oh, you dipped out there a bit. Uh, just, just maybe step a bit closer to the mic. We can't hear you. Just make sure you're in front of the mic there, so we can hear you properly. Um, but indeed, I, I agree with you. I think High Kings have got a really good chance of taking this. But that being said, you know they would, they wouldn't expect the other three lads to step in. So maybe, maybe Gilzo and Crawler can spring a bit of a surprise here, really put them in their place, and have something strong going. I still see win for High Kings, but I see the lads taking a game at least, making this competitive, making a good series. That's what we have to hope for anyway in this one. But. Uh, Everyone's everyone's in, of course. We've got everyone ready to go. So whenever we're ready, we can we can we, we can send it over to them. So your prediction is high kings, my prediction is high kings, uh, and we are ready to go indeed for this one. So the players, if they want, they can join the, the matches now. We're ready to go. Best of five, of course, for this one. Let's go. We've got it. Do you want to kick us off there? Gav, get us ready for this one. Get us set up, set up for it. All right, well, players joining into the match. Everyone's getting nice and ready. And there we go. First kickoff of the game. Indeed, Captain Pudding. Captain Pudding. Just, yeah. You open able to take it around. Krolik is there. Like yeah, very good save by Krolik indeed. He has to get up to this one nicely. Gets across. Captain Pudding's there looking to get this one through. <laughs> Don't know what's happening there. Will be one like Kenobi, of course, as Gildo takes it away. But can't get the ball, but does get the man. So that's going to create a bit of separation on the pitch. Give a bit of time here for his teammates to set, get some boost and really build up an attack here. Orange team. Oh, Captain Puddin almost gone for a demo on Obi-Wan Lake Kenobi here. I'm not going to get used to saying that. I'm just going to call him Gilzo instead. That might be the better bet. Honestly. Yeah, that will be the better bet. I'm, I'm just going to do that instead. And there we go. Finn, nice early 45 second goal. A lovely passing play here. Bit of a double commit. That kind of sets up the opportunity. Up little finally Finn Barry just redirects it in. I think he actually stole that goal. I think it was going in regardless. So that makes it 1-0. And uh, <laughs> the chat, you can't see the chat going on right now, but it is quite funny. The lads having a bit of crack here. We like to see that here with All Ireland, of course. And that, that's one thing about this All Ireland, RIS especially. Such a, such a community-based tournament. Oh my oh word, Sheffield just get the goal <laughs> somehow and it's 1-1. Well, that makes the game nice and balanced easy. Still can be anyone's game. There's four minutes left and we're already two goals in for both teams. Now, I'm not sure what just happened there. The chat, they're not, well, game chat has been very active at the moment for some reason. Should be more focused on playing the game. Gills are already up in the air. Low on boost though, can't do anything about it. Chef. Boots it back out. Captain Puddin up to try redirect it into Finn. Finn brings it up the wall. Tries to make something out of it. Doesn't look right. like we're going to see anything here now. Not right now anyway. As Obi-Wan and Kenobi. Gilza will get the ball clear. But Finnbar is there to get the catch. Bring it across. So he's been challenged. I guess taken out straight away by Gilzo. Who's uh, really going for those demos and bumps? And that's one thing we didn't talk about in the pre-show. Perhaps we should have in the preamble. But a really good way here for this 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 orange team, the the Wolfhounds, to get in the heads of the High Kings, use those bumps and demos, really disrupt their opponent's play, try to tilt them a bit. And that's what Gilzo set it to do very early. Set it to stall very early, trying for a cooks here pinch there. Did not go well. Gets taken out for his trouble. This game, it's been very centered on orange team, but as of course as I say that, it gets already booted. Open to the high kings end, but no, back down 12 hands. They're playing very uh, aggressive. Well, they're trying to play very aggressive here, but 
for most of the game so far, it's just been on their end. Yeah, that, that, that's there hasn't been really any good looks though for the Wolfhounds, uh, sorry the Vikings, apart from that one goal from Finbar earlier on that he stole that was already going in anyway. <laughs> but uh, you know who cares? They all, they all came the same. That's a big oh. dunk there off the post. The Finbar was nowhere to be seen. He backflipped, side flipped, sorry, wrongly there, and almost set up an opportunity. But off the post, the ball comes and. High Kings survive here in game number one. Halfway through it now as the ball come across the side. Cleared off field now by Krolik, but only as far as the up now. Lovely pass to Finbar. Oh. Finbar off the post. And again, the post denies us a goal opportunity. But Captain Punnan says, no, not going to happen. And puts the top ins. That was <laughs> that was an amazing play there. Like, the passing play. It's a shame that uh, it didn't go in the first try. But it's normally third times the charm. But... Uh, in this case, it was second time as the charm. Big kickoff win there by Krolik. Finbar will get this ball across. The Upnull is up. Looking for the shot, but can't quite get the power on it. Finbar trying to triple up a chef. Gets back around it. Chef, of course, the only original player on this team today. Gets down for it. Here's a chance for a goal. Well oh. saved by Captain Punnin from Gilzo, who was such a striker, but that ball's going to be in from Krolik anyway. 2 2. We're all tied up again. Again. Anyone's getting two minutes left. That's both times now. When uh, Wolfhound scored, it's just another one in. As Gilzo says, all star or rising star? That is a good question. Of course, by all star, of course, the second highest <laughs> tier in this division. So. It is, you know, very good players you're playing. Of course, in order for subs to play, they have to be part of the same organization coming from a lower rank. They can, of course, come from uh, Superstar, which, of course, is the highest one. Uh, here's a chance, though, now for the All-Star Team of Vikings. Big dunk from Finbar and Yupnel. We'll have a chance here to get this one down. It'll be past the captain, Paul and Finbar, though, trying for the cherry pick, but couldn't manage to quite get the power direction he needed on that ball. And that's going to give a chance to reset now for the Orange team. Ball coming center, but here's a chance now again for Wolfhounds to move forward. Captain Putin missing that one. That's giving an opportunity. Ball center, but no one challenging in that one. That was an opportunity, Gav. The ball, it's just going back and forth. Pretty sure they're supposed to be playing car soccer, not car tennis. They're just passing it to each other at this point. Try, uh... Oh, hang on. We might have something here. Nope. Finn by run out of boost. Wasn't able to make anything out of it. Chef goes in. Captain Putin just blocks it. Finbar knocks it up. Can they? Oh, Finbar almost gets it in there, but unfortunate. And for now, it's still in the orange half. High Kings here pressing for a winning goal. Don't want to see this go to overtime because overtime anything can happen. One goal could, of course, be the difference between these two teams. And you feel that we're in next goal in territory this stage. Gilzo with a massive 50 in the air. Really drove up the wall for that one, got it beautifully, and here's a chance it'll pass down, nobody there, but Chef will look to get us on target, does very well to do so, Yupnall in awkward position, Captain Putin having to come bail him out a little bit, but a long clear, and that might just be in Yupnall drinking in there, but that's a well denied by Gilzo again, who's really playing out of his skin so far. 10 seconds left in the match, I think it will go into overtime here, just unless Hikins can somehow pull something off here, but it's not looking like it, unless, nope, I did not speak too soon. Ball still up though. They are looking to finish it now, but no, nope. into overtime. This can be anyone's game here, depending on this kickoff. Now the kickoff can be important, but it's gone pretty neutral, so that's gonna just well cold kills it though. Says no, it's going in your half. Sorry, lads. And here comes Captain Putin up off the ceiling, using that slip from the ceiling to get the, the ball away. And here's a chance now looking for the double, but never really got the connection he wanted on that one. Couldn't quite get it on target. A big booming clear from Gilzo will allow time for the High Kings. To reset as well as the Wolfhounds. It's a big play there. And here, surely Yupp, I'm going to finish it off. Now he will indeed. Oh, no. 3 2, 27 seconds on the clock. High Kings take game one. That was a nice little match there. Could have been anyone's game. It's just the overtime. Yup, no, doesn't seem too happy. But <laughs> he's asking where his team is. But that's game one, High Kings there. My prediction was correct. Yeah, well, of course, still four, potentially four games to go in this. Best of five, of course, in a in the threes, and then in the twos, which you don't have, and the ones is best of threes. Of course, remember the point system. It's three with three points for winning the series in threes, and one point for winning the series in ones. Of course, two and a half winning it in twos. We won't be playing twos today uh, due to the fact that we don't have two subs playing 
for the Wolfhound. So that we'll only have uh, threes and ones today. We might have the twos another stage, but uh, that is to be determined by, uh, I believe, the admins who will be deciding on that. So uh, it'll be interesting to see exactly how that one will go. Uh, but we are already here, already for game number three. Is the, the, the I see the scoreboard glitch is still happening, which is hilarious. Uh, you know, the whole boo, boo, boo. Um, yeah, but we're all set to go Manfield Knight again here for game number two. Hikings against Wolfhounds. Hikings 1-0 up in the series. Can they make it 2-0 or can the team of... of uh, sorry, Hikings 1-0 up in the series. Can Wolfhounds fight back, though? That's the big question this one, Gav. Right, well, you know what? Wolfhounds fought really well that game, so uh, I, I still think, personally, Hikings is going to win. And I'm also uh, I'm reading the Twitch chat here that apparently there is a like an audio echo or something going on so i'm not sure what's that about but if someone can try to fix that real quick hopefully it's fine now but anyway back to the gameplay already going hikings very aggressive but wolf hands almost gets a shot on captain putting saving it he's been really good with saves today morky i'm not sure if you've been noticing that but i have what are your thoughts on him so far Important, yeah, really good defensive effort so far by him. Always setting up some opportunities for his team as well, which is really nice to see. Yuplo doing very well here. Yuplo missing the, the attempted ground hit there, looking for a pinch perhaps, but he couldn't quite manage to get on the end of it. Did very well to get the challenge at first. And right now here, the uh, the Vikings messing around a little bit in the corner, and that's going to cost them because here come the Wolfhounds. They're looking for a little double there. Couldn't quite get it. Yuplo and Captain Putin team it well to get themselves into midfield. and. Gives us a bit of space and time to work with, but well well cut out by this Wolfhound side. Of course, we're in orange, Vikings in blue. Ball coming across, and here's an opportunity, but Captain Puddin can't go get there. Chef doing well. Chef got a 3v1 this, looking for the pass across, but nobody there again. And he needs his teammates to push up with him there when he has an opportunity. I know it's not who he's used to playing with. Perhaps that chemistry is not fully there. He's up and looking for a double, gets it, but can't go get the power on it he needs. Or the direction is right at Gilzo instead. All right, let's see what uh, Wolfhounds is going to do. Captain Puddin with the demo on Gilzo. Chef barely what saved save. it. And there we go. Yuppnow finishes. 102 Hikins with three minutes, 24 seconds left on the clock. It's, it's a great save from Chef, to be fair. The first time around, he does everything he can to get it. Does put in a decent enough position, but... At this level, those kind of those kind of angles are going to get punished. Chef with a lovely little catch there. Gets a by one, gets a by two. One to B. Can he do it? Can he score it? No, he's leaving it here for his teammates. What's he doing? It's all over the park. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, that was a big opportunity. Chef had done so well to get by two players. Just couldn't get by the third with an open oh. net beckoning. Big chance. And here comes Chef again looking for a shot, but gets denied with a good challenge. Wins the 50, but can't get it on target. Uh, it's a bit of chaos in the corner again here. And the High Kings will break out. Chef going up to try and make something out of this. Is he able to? Oh, Captain Puddin coming in with another save. I was just talking about it there a minute ago. He's just really good with his saves today. Just has two in this own match itself. Finbar is up. But nothing came out of that. The ball just stopped midair. Captain Puddin looks to make something happen. Gilzo now has it. Going up the wall. Challenging Finn. Down to Captain Puddin by looks of it. No, he's just going to stay back here. Chef tries to make it past Captain Puddin, but there's his third save now. It's in about two minutes. It's looking very even this game so far, but if Wolfhounds don't step up their game soon enough here, it's looking like the second game might go to High Kings. Uh, yeah, well, the High Kings, of course, have that one goal lead right now, but... You're on your point there, it has been very competitive. I wasn't expecting to be this competitive indeed. I, I thought the High Kings might lose the game because it might get overconfident a little bit, but they've been they've been well here, a match by a team here playing with two subs. The, the Wolfhounds, of course, playing with Gilzo and, and Krolik instead of Evoke. And uh, I forget who the other player is, but oh. Finbar, he's a little <laughs> cheeky little bicycle <laughs> kick there. And uh, you up look at this thing, but a <laughs> bit of toxic and chap, a big demo, and then just, just, just uh, has a bit of fun with it. Puts it in the back of the net. Makes it 2-0 on the, the High Kings on top now. Well, it looks like High Kings might take this game now, but Wolfhounds, they might start uh, that little musty that they um, just got scored there. They might take that to heart and start trying really hard now to do it back to them. Oh. Good team. shot. Good save. Captain put in there to make the follow-up. 
it was a nice little save and a nice little shot there. Finbar doing all sorts of flip in the air to try and make something happen, but I just don't think he had the boost to finish it there. And here Aiden. we go. Looking to make Wolfhound's first goal happen there, but... Ooh, Chef just gets demoed. Unfortunate. Finbar goes up, hits it into it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, what a oh. dunk! What a dunk by Finbar! Look at this! Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh, uh, well, that's two one. Uh, the whole parents <laughs> get on the board somehow, but uh, that works out quite well. And here's a chance. Can they make a two two? Yup. Crawler can't quite get there. And he gets no power on the shot. Chef with the follow up, but it's well oh. delayed again by Captain Pudding. It's been really good defensively. Yup, again, looking to score an own goal. Finn, have to be really careful here. He's trying I, to be fancy with tell, it. I can't tell if Finn's trying to score an own goal or not at this point. It's scaring me. That's a little bit awkward. It's a little bit all those kind of words right now, but <laughs> still the lead here for the High Kings. And can they find a way to hold on, make this lead even better? We up looking for the pass in center. He gets a good bump as well. Lovely pass into Finbar, but it's too hard. Oh, oh, oh. Push up. Oh, 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 and Finbar <laughs> gets the double as well. I don't know how he that worked out, but it himself. did. <laughs> oh, the little comms that they're typing in chat right now. Well. Hikings, if uh, if they score a nice little own goal again, oh, all right. I thought that was about to go in there. I am so confused on what is happening right now. It's a very Hello. intense game. I think you're back there, Morky. I'm not sure what happened. No, no, I was always here. That's a oh, three-two. Wow. Karlik is there, puts it in the back, and that makes it three-two. And all of a sudden, we've got a game in our hands with 12 seconds to go. It's winnable. It might go into overtime. Might go into overtime. I'm hoping it goes into overtime. Makes it more intense than it should be. Well, you feel, kick you off feel the at all. Big kick off there for the High Kings. Following up with Kills, so it gets up nicely to that ball, but time ticking away, and they're in their own corner now. What can they do from here? Not much. Chef with a good challenge, but Captain Putin keeps it alive, but Yuppo sure to get finishes off. No. Oh, it doesn't even go in. What a shame. That's game two there. So 2-0 in the series now uh, to the High Kings. They need one more game here to take three points from it. Of course, what we expected mostly, we didn't expect to see High Kings taking the series because, of course, they uh, they have, um, you know, they're all their players playing, all the players this level playing. So, you know, the draft players came in and, you know, the opposition here don't have what you can say the up-to-par players, but they've been showing up and showing out here. They've made it a very, very difficult game for, for the High Kings over the Wolfhounds have, and they've made it difficult for High Kings to really get into that top gear, and that's due to some really good demo plays and some really good bumping and disruption plays and some good rotations as well from the Wolfhounds. All right, it looks like we... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what's happening with the leaderboard right now. Everyone's ready, but I don't think it's going to be putting us into a game here until the next 10 seconds, but... Do you think a reverse sweep is possible here? No. No? No. I don't see it happen. a solid, honest answer, just no. No, I don't see it happen. Like, a tiny I, bit of hope. There's always a bit of hope. There's always a bit of hope, of course. But, you know, it's it's it, it, it's difficult to see how the High Kings here, we've looked the better team so far in this series, are going to lose it. Um, that's not to say they won't lose a game. Uh, I think that the Wolfhounds are more than capable of taking a game off the High Kings. I just don't see them taking three in a row. Uh, and that's what they have to do here in order to, to, to win this series. So, you know, it's, as much it's as always it, possible. It's always possible. I never said it's it wasn't likely. possible. I, I, I just said I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's, I don't. I never said it wasn't possible. I just don't, don't think it's going to happen. Good bumping play there, but Finn manages to hold oh, on. Boy. Farm and then gets a good save from Krolik. And uh, well, we're still all to play for here with four minutes and forty seconds to go. And this hiking team are confusing me. They're making plays that are very weird and questionable. Yeah. yeah Sometimes I can't tell if they're trying to stop it from going into their net or trying to get it into their net. And that's the problem. As we saw last game, well, they definitely like to score an own goal. What an own goal it was as well. That, that, that could be goal of the season right there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know that's that's going to be a contender for goal of RLS, honestly. That was, that was a hell of a goal. 
Uh, not to say I think Own Goal is right, right, a really spectacular or the really bad. There's no in between. There's never like just like a, okay, that that that, that was the, that was an own goal. So I was like, oh, how why did that happen? Or like, oh my god, what a goal! Uh, there's never an in between. Big demo on the goal line there. But that's oh. a big stop from Chef. Who denies the opportunity with a 3v2 forming against his team. And Krolik with a little floater. And it's oh, going to go. Krolik puts go. it home. 1-0. See, now here's the time where they do that nice little reverse sweep I was asking you about. You said it's not going to happen, but I have hope. I have hope that it will happen. Whew. Here we go. Second kickoff. Chef wins it. Nice and simple. Finn knocks it up. Is anyone there to finish it off, though, for him? No. And that's going to punish them now, because Yupna, with his no boost... Woo! Gilzo barely missing that shot. It's just hitting the post. It's very unlike Gilzo as well. He's not even so accurate in those shots and those attempts. He's very, very good at hitting those balls into the back of the net. And unfortunately, that's why he just couldn't quite do it. Uh, wins that challenge. Chef wins the challenge, but then gets taken out by uh, Yupnall. Captain Pudding there will control this ball in the air, looking for a flip reset, perhaps gets it, but can't quite do anything with it. Here's the opportunity to the end. Oh. What a denial there by Chef, who manages to bicycle kick it away, and now he's going to carry this up. Beats one defender, looking to beat two. Sets it up for Gilzo, but denied again by Captain Pudding. He's really been a resolute defender for his team so far. Yeah, Captain Pudding, MVP defender today so far. He are, or, well, Finbar has two saves this match. He's been doing good as well. Finbar has been doing good. Now, he's been saving, but he needs to be scoring as well if they want to take home this last game here. Chef knocks it up, almost gets it in, but Finbar with his third save now. Really been doing well so far this match. You just see there as well. Off oh, the post! Oh, Jordan, finish up Finbar! No, he can't get it home! Big opportunity there for the uh, Wolfhounds. Uh, sorry, the Hikings to level this one up with the Wolfhounds. Able to do so, and... Well, Captain Putin will be passed across to Finbar, and I was about to say that you can just see there earlier on, Krolik was in a better position to challenge that ball. Looking for a cherry pick here, won't quite get it though. Couldn't manage to get the redirection on it, but Chef is up, and Chef will put that go. one down and in, 2 0. And I can't quite get my point. I was just making the point is that you can just see the speed difference here between these two teams. And just right now, Hikings are a bit faster, but they're still losing 2 0 though in this game. Yeah, it is very possible that Wolfhounds may win this. If, are they going to reverse sweep though? Probably not, but they still might be able to pull it off if they continue playing the way they are now. Indeed, that, that could happen, but you never know. It's, it is Rock League, and it is a weird, weird sport, and anything can happen at any stage. We just feel that High Kings here are playing within themselves. Right they haven't hit top gear as of yet, and if they want, they can hit that at any stage, you feel. But it's been really good from the Wolf fans. They've looked really good. <laughs> Taking it in the air there. Lovely bump play to stop Chef from making any forward progress. Ball cleared downfield beautifully. That's a lovely pass to Finbar, oh. but he couldn't get the connection. He needed on it. Good effort, though. Yup, look. Look at this one across. Looking for a good shot and able to do so. Chef gets denied. Finbar off the backboard. Looking for a double here, but gets denied again. This time by Chef, who does a little backflip then afterwards. And that's going to just allow the opposition here, Yup, and Co. to get something going offensively. But the pass is a little bit behind Finbar. He had to stop and reverse for that one. And that allows the opposition to break out of their own half. It's looking like it's going to be one minute left in the match here. But before I could say that, Finbar decided to score. So it's now 2-1 to Wolfhounds. They still might be able to pull this off. I'm not sure, but it's looking like Wolfhounds might take this one. What do you think, Marky? Still a minute and five seconds to go. Still plenty of time here for the High Kings to... Get at least one goal back, so you can't really break this one off yet. Still plenty of time left on that scoreboard. and Technically infinite time when it's a one goal lead, because you keep the ball up in the air for as long as you want. When the ball hits, the timer hits zero. So but if that one goes in, it is going to be all over you. Though with a good save, Captain Puddin will clear it out for now, but only as far as Gilzo, who will put this one back center. Finn, there on the backboard, clearing it out for now, but only as far as one of the orange players. Wolfhounds here swarming, trying to get something going offensively, trying to get this push going, but unable to do so. And that's just a double whiff. Oh, how does that not go in off the crossbar? And that was a big opportunity, almost an own goal there from this orange team. That could have been the game-winning goal right there for all we know. But, oh, barely misses that double touch there. Tykins have a chance here, but denied yet again. A double demo, tri triple demo play happening. Ten seconds left in the match. Can Hikins bring it home? 
That's you have no very rare. Shot. Oh. Okay. Going into an overtime game, maybe. Indeed, that's what it looks like here. You see there the, the demo by Captain Pun that actually puts him backwards, and that helps him a lot because then he's able to slot that one in in the right place at the right time. To make it 2 all, we're all tied up here. Three seconds to go. This kickoff could be huge or could be so neutral. It is pretty neutral. We might see overtime here. Finbar, though, has other ideas. Gonna wait on the wall. Try to put this one down, but he keeps it up somehow. Keeps I thought that hit up. the ground, but it didn't. Looking for the doomsday, oh, unable to get oh, it. And oh, there, the ball awesome. hits the ground. We go to overtime in game number three. And here we go. Kickoff. Neutral kickoff. Chef takes it, though. Hits it over to Captain Putin, who knocks it up into the air. Straight to curl, though. And can he finish it, or does Finbar save it? Finbar does save it there. Gilzo attempts to knock it midfield. Finbar flipping upside down for some reason. I, I can't tell which way this is going to go, Morky. It's a very even match so far. It is indeed. Finbar looking for the cherry pick himself there. Coming it out of nowhere, looking for it, but... Couldn't get the redirect he wanted on that ball. And here's an opportunity with Chef denies him nicely. The chef here, of course, the only all-star player, quote-unquote, in this game for his team. So he's really had to carry them so far. But the other two lads have really carried themselves well. Showed perhaps they deserve a little bit of a shot at this level as well in the next draft, whenever that is. But uh, for now, they're they're getting some good practice here against good players. Chef looking for the shot, but gets denied by Yuppel again. Captain putting Finbar, same area, looking for the shot. That shot's going to fade wide. For the little, lovely little pass across the backflip oh. from Chef, but there was Crawl to make sure that didn't go in. Nice little save by Finbar there. And then a demo. Oh my, just hits the top bar there. I thought that was for sure going in. It's still anyone's game here, unless Yupnol decides to do something insane, but just ran out of boost, unfortunately. Can be anyone's overtime. Indeed, Crawl. could be anyone's overtime indeed, as here we go, continue on, the ball could be again, Obi, Gilzo again here looking to get something going, that ball, long range clear, is anyone home? No one's home, that's going to be it, and it's 3-2, oh, Captain Putin gets the winning goal, and three points go the way of the High Kings in this one. What a game there, such a close one, such a close one. Wolfhounds, I, I for sure thought they would have had that last game there, but... Just barely missed that last save. Such an unfortunate. Indeed, very unfortunate indeed. And we will be going to ones very, very rapidly here in, in a little bit. But, uh, you know, who's who you think was the best player in that series for you, Gav? Who, who really impressed you the most in that team? Me, personally, I thought Captain Putin with those saves the entire time. Very impressive. And I'm pretty sure he said in one of the games, uh, in the game chat there, he said, call me Jesus because I'm the savior. And I just thought everyone had to know that because to me that was <laughs> probably the highlight of the entire match right there. How about you, Morky? Who was your uh, personal favorite? I'm going to give it to... I'm going to give it to Yupno, I think. I think he played really well. I thought, I thought at times I was talking a lot about him. He was doing all the good, good things right. He was playing really good Rocket League. Uh, I know he didn't get all the goals or assists that he probably... He got three assists in that game, so setting up a lot of opportunities. But, um, you know, did very, very well regardless and looking good for this the series, honestly, and looking like a talented player. So probably well-deserved there to get that man of the match for me. Yeah, it was, it was a very close match. Now... Are we going to go to a one minute break or are we going to go straight into the ones? That is the question here. I think we're going to go into a quick one minute break. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just we'll go to a quick break while uh, Gav gets something set up on his end and then we'll be right back with the ones. Is that okay? Hope to see you in a while, lads. Everyone, bye bye.
And welcome back, everyone, to this RLIS stream. I am Morky Mork. That is Gav the Ninja. Uh, 3122, according to his, his epic name. If anyone wants to add him there, feel free. <laughs> uh, you know, good player, good goal player there, like me. Uh, but, uh, you know, very interesting threes there. So we'll have a ones game now. Best of three in this ones game between Chef and Finbar, I believe. Uh, so Chef, of course, the all-star player for Wolfhounds normally. Uh, but, of course, Crawlick and Gilds will back him up there. They, are, of course, were uh, rising star. And then you've got uh, Finbar, of course, who's part of the High Kings um, All-Star team as well. So this should be an interesting one. This should be a lot better than than what we saw from the threes at times because it was it was a bit uh, it was a bit all over the place at times, wasn't it, Gav? There. Oh, it was all over the place with that nice little on goal. To be honest, that was that was my highlight of that match. There, just that single on goal, best goal right there. And uh, it, if, if I'm looking in this lobby correctly, I'm not seeing Chef anywhere. I'm not sure what's that this, about. This is very true. I don't see Chef either. Maybe I thought he was just changing his car, but I don't see him either. Maybe. So. I'm not sure what's going on here, so uh might just have to wait an extra minute or two, but that's fine. Oh, wow. Yeah, just trying to have a look here and see exactly what's going on, but we... we, we have not no much idea. we can really do about that. We're just the casters. Just uh, wait. Not sure what's really going on. I'm just asking who's playing the ones now, so we can find out exactly yeah. who's playing. Uh, I thought it was Finn Baron Chef. I thought it'd be Chef because Chef is the only player here who's, who's actually in this division. So I'm confused. Chef is the only one allowed as well, so he should be should be here. Uh, um, so yeah, Chef. Well, as per the rules, uh, you can have subs for the threes. You can't have subs for twos or ones. So, um, it'd be interesting to see exactly what happens here. She's chef. Hope we just change his car and going back, maybe trying to fix his internet, something like that. Yeah. Uh, hopefully he gets back soon or else we're going to have a very, very short stream here, which is the threes going on. But thank you everyone for tuning in. I see a lot of people in chat, which is lovely to see and, and supporting the stream. Hopefully again, if you want to get streamed, by the way, every Saturday or Sunday between six and nine, just depends on how we got free. But Saturdays, perfectly between six and 9 PM. If you can schedule a game for then, we'll try and get, get you on stream. And then of course we'll have the playoffs of course going on stream as well in a few weeks time. So. Just try your best to schedule your games for around about then, and then we can get you on stream and have you casted by some sensational, sensational people like myself, Gav, Noah, uh, Barmanton, Ejam. Loads of good casts out there in Ireland right now, so uh, interested to see exactly who's going to be cast next one. But yeah, if you can, arrange your games between 6 and 9 p.m. on a Saturday, and we'll get you on stream, hopefully, uh, soon. Um, but yeah. So that, that, that's just, that's the admin out of the way there. Also, make sure you sign up for the 2v2 <laughs> tournament as well. 2v2 tournament starts in on on next Sunday. Make sure you sign up for that. Get get a partner. Get involved. Have a bit of fun. We'll be casting that too. So that'll be on stream. The yeah. finals will be on stream as well, I'm sure. So, you know, definitely get involved with that one too. That'd be a bit of fun. Be a bit of fun. Morky, I think me and you should sign up. Two gold players. Nothing can go wrong. Nothing can go wrong. We'll win a lot. We'll, we'll, we'll take it home. We'll take it home. <laughs> we'll win a lot. We'll win a lot. Yeah. That would be pretty funny. So yeah, so we're just waiting for Chef here to arrive again. Uh, I, I think he, I think he got confused that he, he's not normally one's player, but he has to play ones because both his teammates are out. So there he goes. He's joined the oh, match now. So we're all set to go. He's back. Uh, everyone, everyone celebrating in the quick chats. Everyone having fun. <laughs> but it will, of course, be one v one. Best of three, of course. So first two games wins. It will be Finn Barrett representing the High Kings, and it will be Chef representing the Wolfhounds. Um, so typically a lot of goals in ones. Typically a lot of. Control play, so I think we're uh, we're getting ready to go here now. D Lynch, our lovely uh, production man for the day, so big thank you to him Amazing for doing all the production person. in the background. Great yeah, guy. very very yeah, lovely lovely. Uh, even even though he is the High Kings manager, which kind of makes him you know an L person already. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. oh god, <laughs> <laughs> if I muted by the way, that that's him. That's him. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. There we go. Ready oh, for game like number. We are all set to go here for game one of a possible three. Uh, ones, 1v1, of course, one point for the winner of this one, so High Kings looking to make it four points from a possible four today on stream if they can. But here we go, game number one, let's get underway. Now, considering both Finn and Chef were playing amazing in that threes match we are watching, it's going to be interesting to see which one of the players is better, but any mistake, just like that, a simple kickoff can result into a goal being scored that early into the game. Yeah, I used to very, play very... once myself, I wouldn't know. <laughs> 
Yeah, very, very good kickoff there from uh, Chef. And kickoffs, unlike threes, kickoffs and threes are important. Kickoffs and twos are important. Kickoff and ones are crucial. If you get them wrong at all, if you make a mistake in your kickoff, it doesn't go neutral or goes in a nice position for your opponent. You're in a, you're in a world of hurt. And that early goal is great here for Chef. He's grabbed some boosts. So a boost manager, another great thing. Really important. That's a big boost deal there from Finn. He'll grab more boost there. Just starring Chef. He's go over the pills now. Let's go for the small boost pads rather than the big pills. And that's going to frustrate him a little bit. He grabs that opponent's boost. So Finn back 52 to work with. Still plenty here to work with. The boost manager is going to be so important. So we're going to keep an eye on that trade this whole series here. Who's got better boost management? Yeah, it is. It's it's going to be something. I'm not sure who's going to win this match because like once a once a goal is scored. Oh no! Another, oh, oh no! Oh, okay, I I should just stop talking. I say I don't know who's going to win this match, and then it just gets put into even just like that. I'm pretty sure that's why you call the uh, casters curse, if I'm correct. It is indeed the caster's curse. Indeed, Gav, you're already a caster. You're or you're actually a caster. Now. You've you've started cursing teams, so you're you're definitely a caster. You're in. That's you're in. You're right you're in. You're in. Oh God, your your voice went all robotic there. That was weird. Uh, oh, the chef putting up here as Finn comes across makes a good save. I think that was going up too high anyway. But Chef will be frustrated with himself, but he can't let himself get tilted. And that's another thing at once, Gav. It's really important. Is not letting your mentality go down. Keeping the mental game as fresh as possible. Finn now in a good position, looking for the flick, looking for the 45. Like I said, looks for the fake, and Chef oh, just couldn't land properly. If he lands properly there, he's got a great chance of getting that ball clear, but he can't control his car, and that's going to allow Finn to reset. Yeah, I I don't want to say anything like really crucial about this game, but it looks like Finn just scored that there. Yeah, there we go. I didn't want to say anything until a goal was scored, just so I didn't curse anyone else, but... uh. Both, both players have been playing extremely good. They know when to be aggressive and they know when to play defensive. As you were saying a couple of seconds ago, that you need to let your mentality just stay nice and calm. You cannot be under pressure, even though it is a once game. You have no one to back you up, just in case anything goes wrong. And apparently my mic is going really bad at the moment. It's fine again now. It was going a bit, uh, bit robotic there a second ago, but it's all good back to normal again. But... Indeed, you're right, dead right, and you saw Finn there faking the kickoff. He got beat bad last time in that straight kickoff, so decided not to go for it. Just faked it out. Lovely play from Finn there. Wins the low 50 and hits the, the ground go. breezy. Gets his hat trick, and it's 3 1 now. Finn Bar has a two goal lead and nice cushion for himself. Yeah, it's. Uh, I still have hope that Wolfhounds can bring this back. Well, that Chef can bring this back. Because one, once games, they're, they're the hardest type to play. You can't just go back to your teammate. Like, look at that kickoff right there. Finn already has the boost. Goes up. Is he going to get it in, though? Oh, there we go. 4-1 so far. Are we looking like a Brazil? Quite possibly. This is great play from Finn, by the look. Look where he puts his car positions it perfectly to get the dunk. So that ball's either going in if 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 Chef doesn't play it, or if Chef gets a touch, Finn bars there waiting to put it in anyway. So just a really awkward position for Chef to be in, and that makes it very nice. Big kickoff win there for Chef though. Can he put this one home? No, he can't. The ball's gone awkward. And Finn bars somehow also grabbing the boost there. Huge, huge play for him, and Chef has to retreat. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure. Like, is, is my mic sounding fine right now? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, sounding all good. Fine with it. All right, that's good because. Uh, Apparently, it's been nice and robotic. So, I just want to know if it sounds good on stream. Just in case. It's good, alright. Apparently, it's good, so that's grand. Oh, oh nice little save by Chef there. Is he gonna do anything out of it, though? No, he doesn't have any boost. Now, my, my big question is, what happens if a real one happens in a one? In a uh, once game. I don't know. Uh, I think with the stakes on the line, I think, I think if, if Finbar gets it, he'll, he'll, he'll hold on. See, he's got the lead now. That's the 45 that comes through there from Chef, but good save from Finbar. The last second reactions, and Chef here starting to get on top a little bit now. Starting to get some territory in possession, but Finbar always dangerous the ball, doing very well. He gets that one up nicely. Good ones player, of course, is Finbar. We know that for a fact, and I just couldn't quite manage to get that one there. Flipped at the wrong time, unfortunately for him, and We'll grab the ball again. He's wasting time off the clock here. 145 left now. Another goal was prob probably... Can't say probably seal it because four kick goals can happen like that in ones. But another goal puts Finbar in a good position here. But Finbar happy just to, to let Schiff have the ball. Happy just to play some Rocket League. 
managed to keep Chef away from scoring that. a goal. And that was a great save indeed. I, I Oh, Finbar looking to... Oh my, the saves. We're just... Oh, Finbar with the demo. He's going to try to score this though. I, I think that's going in there. Oh, I take it back. I should just stop speaking anytime something important is about to happen. No, Finn Bear, Finn, Finn Bear just wasting time, but that's a big challenge from Chef. And that ball, is it going to go in? No, oh. yes it is. Just about wow. Finn Bear can't get wow. there in time. It's 4-2. That was very close. I didn't think that was going to go in there. Look how close he was. That is so unfortunate. But it is 4-2 with a minute left. So he does, Finn does have a two-goal lead so far. Nice little neutral kickoff there. Finbar gets it over Chef's head, but uh, there's, there's nothing I can say about that. Had to add in a little mustard, huh? That's to be done. You know, you might, you might as well try and get in your opponent's head a little bit, you know, if you can. And that's exactly what he's trying to do there, just getting his opponent's head a bit. Uh, Which is smart why I don't play ones anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the way to do it. 55 seconds to go here, three goal lead. And Chef Finbar again... Will he, will he try and do what he did before and just waste time off the clock? Because that's what he was doing before. He didn't want to score that goal. He had a few opportunities to score. Left them on the board. Just want to waste time off the clock. Keep the, keep the ball. Chef though does very well. Good challenge there. And that's going to be another there goal for go. Chef. It's 5-3. Two goal gap now. And in ones, no lead is safe. But two, go oh, two goals in 38 seconds. That's well doable. Yeah, it is well doable. It's uh, It all depends on the kickoffs. Like, one good kickoff, as we saw at the beginning of this match here, can define everything. But Finn, I think he knew that. That's why he didn't go for that kickoff there. And he punishes Chef. It's now 6-3. It's still winnable. Just not likely. Well, 32 seconds, so still plenty of time here. But again, the fake kickoff working very nicely there for Finn Bar. And, you know, Chef has to be aware of that a little bit more, you feel. If, if he sees Finn not going, he has to try and hit that as hard as he can towards the net and just try and push Finn here. Going to make it 7-3, yeah, yeah. and that should be the game. 28 seconds to go. Goal needed every 7 seconds. Highly unlikely, but doable. But Finn Bar looking in control of this series so far. Yeah, I think that is going to be game one. <laughs> For uh, High Kings, anyway, but Wolf or Chef, he was playing. He was playing well. Both players have six saves currently. Finn has 11 shots, while uh, Chef only has nine. But I don't think it's looking too good for Chef at the moment in this game. I say as he scores another goal. Yeah, still 10 seconds come off the clock there. So that's right now the biggest. The biggest enemy of Chef is in the scoreboard. It's the, it's the timer. 18 seconds to go. He needs to get three goals in 18 seconds. It was seven seconds of goals, and then six seconds of goals. So, you know, time definitely ticking down from Finbar. Just controlling that clock, using the scoreboard nicely, and he's going to revert here nicely. Just get possession, grab some boost. Chef's going to turn off this one. Finbar, not the greatest of touches. Chef, sure, you going to score this one. He does. Winnable. Well, Very winnable. Two Maybe goals in 11 seconds. Go. Seven seconds to get off the climber that time. So, Finbar doing the right thing here. He's keeping the clock ticking. Which is most important when you've got a lead in once. That is true. Time. Time and the kickoffs. Personally, that's what I think is the most important things. With 10 seconds left, can Chef somehow win this? But I think Finbar is just going to drive it into his own goal here. But no, that's game one. Two Hikings there. Yeah, game one of a possible three. But Finbar looked very much in control of the 7-5 scoreline. A bit flattering, you feel, for the Wolfhounds. Uh, Chef did well at the end, but Finn was kind of just wasting time. He had a 7-3 lead at one stage and, you know, never really looked like giving that up. Once he had a 2-3 or three goal lead, he never really looked like giving, giving it up. So interesting to see exactly how we'll go in game number two here. But uh, how, how do you think Chef can fight back here in this series? Chef can fight back just from playing like he did in that first game. He was playing extremely well. There's not much he can do. He just has to stay calm. And everything, it will just fall into place. And uh, remember when you said that uh, everyone should go add my epic when we were yeah. waiting there. I think someone actually listened to you because I have a friend request now. Thanks very much. I'm not a good <laughs> player. Just letting you know that. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that. That's How brilliant. kind of you.
That's Kyle brilliant. Clement. This is the best. Oh, today's a good day. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I was, was waiting here now for uh, everyone to ready up. Captain Putin was deciding here to let us go the full minute, giving his, uh, his teammates some time there to, to think, to have a little chat with himself, perhaps, perhaps a little chat with him. To talk about what they can do with different Leo Chef. Of course, he won the game, so I don't know why they had to talk through it because Finbar looked very much in control in that series in that game. But ready for game number two. Same kickoff that, of course, Chef won a few times yesterday, or not yesterday, in the last game. God, not yesterday. That, 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 well, one's a long time, but there wasn't that long. Big kickoff win there for Finbar. Surely you got to be 1 0. It is going to be 1 0. He kicks off where he lets off in the last game, scoring goals for fun. Four seconds on the clock, it's 1 0. Now, there was a little prediction there, but uh, I think everyone just missed it. I only saw it at the last second there. But do you think a reverse sweep is going to happen here if Hoykins does win this game? You mean you mean if Wolfhounds win the game? Or, well, I'm confused. Just if Finn wins this next one. It's all over. It's all over. Yeah. It's best right. of three. Yeah. It's a best, best of three. three. I thought it was yeah. a best of five. For no, a it's best of three. Now. Yeah. No, do you think. Do you think a uh, reverse sweep is in order here? I think it's more likely than it was earlier on. It uh, definitely for sure, is, yeah. For sure, for sure. Um, but I still think Finn Barr is the better player uh, from what we've seen so far today. Chef is a great player, don't get me wrong. Chef, fantastic player. Very good player. But Finn Barr just looks like he has his number so far in this series. So I, I just don't see it happening. But you never know. One's a weird game mode. And Chef here has a chance to level this one up. But he will there level up. Go. Good shot. Very good shot indeed. Places it perfectly in the corner. Puts it out of the harm's way from Finn. And that makes it 1-1. We're all tied up here in this game. There is a 4 minutes, 14 seconds still left in. So, Chef just has to play aggressive here if he wants to try to win this. But he can't be playing too aggressive. Because one tiny error. That's all it takes to forfeit a goal here. Now, the kickoff does go onto Finn by side. But Chef barely just misses it there. Can he get there on time? No, he cannot. Close one. But Finn gets the second goal. Seems like every time Chef scores, Finn's got an answer for it almost immediately. Able to get up the field and pull it in the back of his net. And that, that, that's concerning if you're Chef. You have to try and stem the bleeding a little bit. And when you do, you have to make sure you don't the tourniquet doesn't come off straight away because that's exactly what's happening here. Chef scores a goal, stops the bleeding for a little bit, but it's death by a thousand cuts right now. That's a great shot. That's a great save as well from Finn. Finn bar with the, the more boost here. Chef is just out of boost. Both players are now out of boost completely. What is going on here? Chef is just driving around in circles. Finn bar might be able to make something happen here, but Chef just gets out of harm way. But nope. Finn bar always there, just waiting. Waiting for that tiny hour. Uh, it was an awkward touch. Didn't get the clear. She wanted the chef. And Finbar says, thank you very much. Rolls it into the corner. Gives themselves a two-goal lead now. With a minute and a half gone off the clock. So, you know, 30% of the game gone. And it's a two-goal lead now, Finbar. Of course, that means nothing in the context of ones. And you're going to find out right now if Chef can get this. And Finbar gets nice back nicely. But the shot coming in nicely. Good save. Oh, but oh, oh. couldn't quite manage to save it fully. And Chef Patrick gets close. the goal. It's 3-2. That was that was really close here, as you'll see in that replay. Finbar just gets there, but doesn't get it at a right angle, so it just goes back into his own net. Unfortunate, but as you said, anytime Chef scores, Finbar always has an answer for it, and his answer this, this time, time. Oh, just to save it. Very good save indeed from Finbar there, keeping this one. With his one goal lead, as Chef kind of gets awkward in the corner, but does clear it away, and that's going to make Finn Barr retreat for now. We'll grab all the boost he can, though, leaving only the small pads for his opponent. And that's trying to do demo. big demo there, though. That's a huge demo. Can Chef set up? He will set up for the goal, surely. Oh. He does indeed. 3 3. He's leveled it up, and we're all tied up here with two minutes gone in this game. Well, I bet 10 channel points that Finn was going to win this, so. Hopefully. It's, it's a very close game, though. Three minutes left. 3 3. Anyone's game still. Anyone's game. Indeed it is. Ball here. Kicked away. Chef. Win kick off again. Looking for the redirect. Gets it on target. But it's off the post. And Finbar going to turn on this one. He's got boost. He's got time. And shadow each other now. Just wasting time here. Finbar looking here. Will it control the ball? He's trying to make Chef guess the wrong way. Looking for the bump. Didn't get it. Chef managed to come across. And Chef another big opportunity. I will grab the boost. But 
gives the ball up to Finbar, who then gives the ball right back to Chef. And a bit of ping pong right now, but it's working out okay <laughs> for Finbar because the ball's in his half. In fact, he's getting the ball back occasionally. He's good. And that's a great little flip. Had to pre flip that one. Otherwise, Chef was away with a goal. Great effort there. Great vision by Finbar. Yeah, that was a... Oh, no, I thought that was going to go in for a second there. I guess I'm just a bit blind, but that's fine. Finbar. Oh, Chef blocks it, but Finbar just right back to where he already was. What a save there. Chef almost bans it in. But is Finbar going to be able to punish him here with the demo? Can he make it out of anything with it, though? No, Chef respawns right there. With very little boost, though. Slows it down a bit. Flick. Oh, good save again for Finbar. Even Chef appreciated that one. That was a fantastic save. Uh, uh, Chef will control this. Chef has uh, been playing a lot better this game than he did the last game. That's a good flick. Again, another great save Ooh. from Finbar. And Chef was wondering what he has to do to get on the back of the net. Honestly, he's really having trouble penetrating that net of his opponent. Yeah, it is. There is one minute 20 on the clock. This can be anyone's game here. Chef just... Slow, I don't know what's going on here. Ball's just casually rolling. He's having a nice little stroll. I think both the players here are trying to waste time while also trying to look for any opportunities they have to score. Just like that, flicks it over into the net. Yeah, the beautiful 45 here. You'll see it. Finbar controlling the ball and then gets it up nicely. Goes 45 degrees and flicks it home. Makes it 4-3 and... Puts himself up by a goal, a minute and five seconds remaining with Chef, of course, winning the kickoff so far. And Chef has had the more shots, he's had the more control of this game, but Finbar has made seven saves to his opponents and none. That's the difference so far. Oh my. Well, didn't even get the chance to say anything there until Finbar just scored another goal. I don't think Chef had any chance to save that there. It was, he was just too quick. Just too quick for him. It's yeah, looking like it. it's looking like Hikins might win this one here. Yeah, Chef was in Where no man's land a bit there. He was too close to the ball, but also too far away to make any real oh, challenge yeah. on it. So Finn I got a great chance to clear it away, and that's a really good save again. Will he save it again? Oh. He, did. he saves it somehow. Gets another saver medal, a ninth save of the game for him. Saves. He's wow. absolutely insane. It's scored on the sticks right now. It's Finn He's looking for here a pogo, but. Doesn't quite work out for him as Chef gets a nice challenge. Chef will need a goal. He'll need one quickly. Can he get it? No. Again, Finbar oh. with a great bump play there. He's make sure that Chef can't get the set. final touch on the ball. And he's wasting time off the clock smartly here. There's 17 seconds left. Can Chef somehow bring this back? It's not going to look like he'll be able to because Finbar, I think he's just wasting time at this point. Unless he decides to score another own goal, but there's too much on the line here. No, nope, oh, that's bump. it. There we go. And that is game. Well played. Well played. As we can see there, Finbar with nine saves at the end of that game, though. That is very impressive. Very impressive indeed. He wins his team a point. Uh, so, uh, wins his team a point, and that makes him get, get some four points possible for. I believe today is a deadline as well for week three of RLIS, which means that if they can't reschedule the game, uh, then we will see uh, two and a half points as well going to the High Kings by way of forfeit. So, eight and a half points potentially, eight and a half. Um, but we'll we'll see what happens there. We'll have, we have a decision from the, from the admins later on. But ultimately, High Kings, two good winning five games out of five, and Looking very strong and doing so, and sending a real statement now to the rest of the division. It was it was very well played from both teams, but Hikings, they did just bring it back. Our predictions were correct at the start of the game. So good job us for guessing. But it is unfortunate that there were two subs in. Who knows, it might have been different. Might have been different. It might have been, but ultimately, it was not... Uh... But we have, of course, come to the end of the stream. Thank you all for tuning in. Really appreciate it. We'll see you all very very soon, probably hopefully next week for more RLIS. And then, of course, we'll have the 2v2 Cup as well. So thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you all again next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.